Gareth Chafee, I'm Senior Project Manager at Wessex Archaeology. I was a Site Director at Kingsmead Quarry Horton, which is a Samex UK quarry site. Prior to the extraction of gravel and sand from the quarry, we undertook archaeological excavations. Um, across the site we found a large multi-period landscape, which included some Neolithic houses. To find uh, Neolithic houses across the country, there's only about 40 or 50 known in the country, so it's quite rare. So to find four in one, in one location is, is quite extraordinary. There's an assumption that these houses were for human inhabitation. So prior to the excavation, we did some magnetic susceptibility studies um, to try and pick out whether the buildings were actually used for livestock or humans. It was kind of inconclusive, um, but in one case, in particular the 2012 house, Horton 2, we did actually find a hot spot, um, which would suggest a kind of sweepings at the door. There was no evidence of hards, no evidence of uh, floor surfaces when by the time we got there, because the area had been heavily ploughed. But we think that the buildings were for human habitation. Within the buildings we found a small level of uh, artifactual material including pottery, flint and stone tools. So we're talking the period of um, first farmers in, in coming into the UK, the first type of settlement, the, the first um, domestication of, of plants uh, and of cereals and domestication of animals. What we have done in terms of our radiocarbon dating we've kind of can see that there is a small community covering a few generations. It may have been one community kind of building one house and it uh, fell apart, then you build another one, or we might actually be looking at small groups work, li living within the same area. Uh, Horton 1 and Horton 2 were quite um, fantastic examples of um, preservation. They also showed this rectangular form um, with two internal uh, divisions, creating two separate cells. The preservation was unlike anything we'd previously uncovered in the UK. Um, they are strangely quite similar to Irish examples. But so our ancient farm contacted us because they were looking to uh, build a new Neolithic house. They found our evidence about Horton online and they made contact initially. Uh, we had the first few meetings and we were immediately attracted to building Horton 2 simply because of the size. They wanted it to be the biggest possible size that they could have for their educational purposes. So building Horton 2, which seemed the, the, the best fit. It's the biggest by being 15 metres by 7.5 metres in size. So throughout the whole process we've helped but uh, um, design the construction techniques, um, mirror the, the form that they're creating to the archaeology to make sure that they, the archaeology is as truly represented as possible and that has been done absolutely all the way through the, the, the process um, which has been really impressive. Also the, so the design um, and the, the functioning of the different elements of the building. So in some places they've been split planks, for instance. Um, in the archaeology, we found evidence of vertical split planks um, in parts of the building. So we've represented that on the build at Butter in one of the ends. We've regularly given a nod to the archaeology that we found eight years ago. So the collaboration with Butter has been personally fantastic for me. I found the house um, one morning back in 2012 and then watched the excavation unfold and, and directed that excavation. So for eight years later to be contacted by Butser Agent Farm to, to say that they want to build the house that I found is personally very interesting. From a professional level it's been very exciting as well.